Hi, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr, and here with me is Ted. Now, you probably remember Ted, because not too long ago, Ted and I did a video comparing the video quality of his Phantom 3 Professional to my unique Q500 4K. And let me tell you, we got a lot of grief about it. So we are redoing the test, we've made some changes, and we're going to tell you about them, and we're going to shoot some fresh video. And that starts right now on the Gadget Guru. Okay, as stated, I'm here with my buddy Ted, and by the way, let me give this guy a plug. If you're looking for real estate in the Las Vegas area, while well, this isn't an ad or anything, this guy's really good at what he does. Ted, what's your website? www.tedfoth.com Now, let me go back and refresh your memory. Just last month, Ted and I were out here, and Ted, you, why don't you tell us, where are we right now? We're in Calico Basin, just outside of the Red Rock Canyon. And let me tell you, we could not pick a nicer day to fly. We are getting some breezes. It's about six knots. Everything is looking perfect. Well, what happened a few weeks ago, the goal was, let's compare the video. Now, we know that the Phantom and the Q500 are two completely different types of copters. They're size different. They fly different. But both of them had the ability of shooting extremely high res, UHD, 3840 by 2160 video. Well, you also probably know if you've shot video through a copter, you really don't know what the video looks like until you get it home on your computer. Well, Ted and I did some exercises. We went out and we hovered. We did 360s. We flew around. And when we came back to look at it, it did not look good. Now, the we, there's a lot of critics online, and some of them brought up some pretty valid points. Some of them not so valid. Somebody brought up the point that when Ted first started his copter, he had the gimbal guard on. And let me tell you, I went back, and that's the great thing about shooting at this high resolution. I zoomed in on it. They were absolutely correct. Now, would that have affected the gimbal performance? Well, I don't know, but we're going to give this a fresh start. Also, the camera settings. What we're doing today, we are, to do a comparison, we're not using filters. We're shooting everything in auto. We're shooting at the same resolution, as stated, 3840 by 2160 at 30 frames per second. Now, Ted, once we saw that video, and we both agreed that it was shaky. When we got into the hover, it just wasn't looking good. It wasn't smooth. Everything was kind of out of whack. You, I, I know you went to Drones Plus. I did. And, and tell me what they said. Um, they did a complete check of the copter, um, the gimbal, the padding, uh, the blades, uh, the video performance. They said the, the copter was in perfect shape. Okay, so. And this copter's never had an issue. I mean, there's okay, no now, things. on the settings, you got top tier advice on that. You spoke to? Romeo Durscher from DJI and uh, went over my settings with him, told him what we were doing, and he gave me some, some, some new suggestions on the settings. Okay, so right now, you and I are on the same page as settings. So Absolutely. here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slide the chairs out of the way. The camera's rolling. Uh, we're gonna do two parts today. We're gonna see how long it takes us to get in the air. We're gonna fly, we're gonna get out there. We know that DJI is faster than this unique model. But we're, we're going to go in and do that. We're going to do a hover and do side-by-side -side comparison, same altitude, same conditions, then we'll do a 360. Then we're going to do something, and this is what's coming up in part two. Ted's never flown a unique Q500 4K or really anything other than the Phantom. It's been a year since I've flown a Phantom, and that was the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, although I do have a Phantom 4, well, I've ordered it. Let's see if it's probably by the time this video is up, you know, hopefully that thing will be in my hands. So let's go on and get started. Let's get her set up. Ted's gonna be over here. I'm gonna be over here. We'll probably move the camera a little bit. Enjoy. Okay, your camera's rolling? I am rolling. Okay, we're gonna sit and just hover for a moment. Okay. I am in angle mode. I got the proper flash. Okay, I'm, okay, at, I'm at 175. Feet. You wanna go in and do a, um, a 360? Slow one? Yeah, a very slow 360 to the left. You see where I am, so 
I you see mine. I don't see yours, but that's all right. Okay, um, look at the blue sky just above the peak. I got gotcha. you. Let's do as slow as you can go. Counter uh, to the left. Okay, let's cue the music. Okay, let's just let her hover for 30 seconds. All right, it's hovering. Let's go in and bring her in. FAA card! <laughs> well, as you can see, that while we're doing our hovering in our 360s, I don't say we're interrupted. We had law enforcement from the Bureau of Land, no. what we call that uh, BLM. BLM. Okay, going to come out here. Yeah, we're out here in the desert. Uh, there were some questions whether we could fly. The guy's great. He said we could go in and continue what we're doing, but what's the outcome of this for you in the future coming out here? You shouldn't fly in the BLM. <laughs> Okay, so this is like, this is the last time you're going to see images from us, but he did say we could go in and complete our mission for today. Now, here's what we're going to do now. Now, as you know, you just saw the video comparing. We won't have a chance to see it till after we get on our computers till later. So it is what it is. But what we're going to do now, Ted has never flown a Typhoon or any other uh, copter other than your Phantom. I haven't flown a Phantom in at least a year, and although I do have a P4, you know, en route at some point, we're going to flip-flop copters. We're just going to talk now. We're going to get his impression of what it's like to fly this copter, and we're going to get my impression of what it's going to be like uh, to fly a Phantom after all the time. I've never flown a P3, so stay tuned. And here's a link to that video right here. So click it and go on to part two. I'm the Gadget Guru, Andy Parr. <laughs>